Pleased to introduce Congresswoman Louise Slaughter, who is our sister in arms in fighting for working families. Yes, Congresswoman indeed. Slaughter. Thank That's you very right. much. Well, I think this is the umpteenth time that we've been out here telling you how unfair all the trade bills that the United States signs is to the American worker. I've never seen a single one that benefited us in any possible way. And you know, I've told you till I know that you probably recite this every night before you go to bed, that Eastman Kodak in Rochester went from 62,000 employees to 6,000 in bankruptcy because of NAFTA. And we, uh, I'm really pleased that we're having a chance to change some of the awful provisions in that bill, certainly ISDS. That is one of the most, I hate to use the word rigged, I think I'm ruined on that on all time, but that really is rigged against the American worker and the American manufacturer. Why? Because we have the deep pockets. So charges are brought against us all the time, they win all the time. Who in the world would ever think you would set up a dispute settlement that would be composed of three corporate lawyers with absolutely no appeal? Um, they, the whole, on the face of it, that is so, as done against us because we have lost, as, as Marcy so eloquently put it, we have already lost millions of dollars in dispute settlements when we really didn't even have a chance to fight for our own goods and services. This is a, a time, I'm hopeful, really am, that ISDS uh, will change immensely because I understand that the negotiator, trade negotiator for the United States has heard our plea uh, and is, is looking very closely at what, what happens there. But let me tell you, if the new NAFTA comes about and it still has that dispute settlement in it, we are still going to lose on every occasion that a case is brought against the United States, and that is often. The workers in the United States, owe, we owe them so much more than we've been able to give them, but goodness knows we've tried. As I said before, I'm always proud to come out and stand with these great people and, and to have to all of you be here to listen to us a little bit. Uh, we've seen devastation all over the country. About half of the manufacturing jobs that were at Kodak, uh, in Rochester, Frank, uh, rather, before and after are gone. We're trying to reverse that, and Kodak is starting to make a bit of a comeback under extraordinary leadership. So I'm glad all of you are here today. I'm glad to add my voice and that of my constituents to the fact that we want a fair deal for a change. Uh, and I hope that we do get it, and we will not let up until we do. Thank you.